I remember orientation. So much useful information. I don't know how I would have made it through college without it. Especially the transit and parking video. Wow. Any motor vehicle parked on U of A owned or controlled property must either properly display a current U of A parking permit or park at a parking meter and pay the posted meter fee. Permits are valid only in authorized lots or zones designated by posted signs and only for the vehicle or person to whom they are registered. The responsibility of locating a legal parking space rests with the motor vehicle operator. Resident reserved permits are for currently enrolled students residing in U of A housing facilities and are primarily issued to returning students sophomore classification and above. Resident reserved permits guarantee a parking space near the student's residence hall. Student parking permits can be purchased online by going to the transit and parking website and then clicking on my parking account. Complete and submit the online forms and your parking permit will be mailed to your residence. The following permits do not guarantee a parking space. Student permits are issued to currently enrolled students. Remote permits or reduced rate permits are available to students, faculty, and staff and allow parking in remote lots on campus. Once you have your permit, you need to know where to park. Parking lot signs are labeled with a lot type and number and are located at the parking lot entrances and within the lots when necessary. Resident reserve lots are assigned by zone. Each resident reserve zone is designated by a zone number on the lot sign. Any area not specifically designated for parking is considered a no parking zone. Please remove your parking permit prior to sale or transfer of your vehicle. The permit is designed to be easily removed from your vehicle. Please notify the transit and parking department when you're using a replacement vehicle. Illegally parked vehicles on campus may receive a parking violation notice. U of A parking violation charges not paid or appealed within five class days could result in the violator's enrollment being denied, transcripts being withheld, or the violator vehicle being booted or towed and impounded. Also late fees are added to violation charges if not paid promptly. What is, what is this? Parking in transit. Oh. oh, there's gotta be a way around this. <laughs> I bet I can get out of paying for that. Looks good. It's perfect. This will pass for sure. Get this laminated, put some sticky on it, you're done. We encourage you to park properly and pay any citations promptly to avoid having your vehicle booted or towed. The U of A reserves the right to tow from its property any vehicle parked without a current parking permit, parked where it causes a traffic or pedestrian hazard, parked in a matter which would impede the access of emergency vehicles, 
parked blocking transit bus stops or which is considered an habitual violator. Vehicles may be immobilized or booted. All outstanding tickets and a boot fee must be paid before the boot will be removed. Immobilized vehicles not claimed by the owner by the close of business will be towed. The best way to travel to and around campus is by the Razorback Transit bus system. Razorback Transit provides bus service on fixed routes both on campus and to major off-campus living and service areas Monday through Saturday. Anyone may ride Razorback Transit buses. Bus maps and schedules are available at the Harmon Avenue Garage and the Transit and Parking Department. Some Razorback Transit buses are equipped with bicycle racks as an added convenience for transporting bicycles on and off campus. Routes with buses that are operational with this service are indicated by a bicycle logo on the route sign. Scooters and bicycles are both welcome as economically smart methods of transportation to and from campus but must be parked only at designated spots or they will be impounded. Scooters, characterized as two-wheeled motorized vehicles under 50 cc, parked on campus must display a current U of A scooter permit and may park in designated scooter parking areas. According to Arkansas law, scooters may not be ridden on the sidewalk. The scooter permit does not authorize parking in U of A motorcycle or car parking spaces. Safe ride is another transportation convenience at the U of A made possible by your student fees. Examples of situations where safe ride could come in handy are being on an uncomfortable date. What are you doing? I thought we were just going to watch TV. <laughs> What are you doing? Good thing I got safe ride on speed dial. Hello, safe ride? Yeah, I need a ride. I'm on a date that went bad. Locking your keys in your car. Too tired to drive home. Needing a sober ride home or maybe just too afraid to walk home alone in the dark. U of A students who cannot access the regular route buses may apply for a complimentary paratransit van service after obtaining certification from the Paratransit Eligibility Committee. We encourage you to ride Razorback Transit, which is fare free. Please contact the Transit and Parking Department if you have any questions about the service we provide.